All right, ready? Yeah. So we're going to do uh, how to use the video camera input on the computer or a webcam as a sensor to detect how much motion there is in the world, in the scene, whatever. So um, let's get started. Um, a couple, lay, lay a little groundwork here with uh, just to talk about what a JIT matrix is because we're going to be treating images as matrices of data that we're going to then subtract from each other in order to figure out how much difference there is. And that's how you tell how much motion there is. But first, um, just a little bit about jitter. Jitter is Max's uh, audio, or sorry, Max's video objects, or I'll start with this, uh, start with the term JIT, which there used to be a product called Jitter, uh, but then they combined it all together. They don't call it Jitter anymore, but all the objects are still called JIT dot something or other. Every video object is called JIT dot something. So here we have an object called JIT dot noise, and there's some parameters here. Let's talk about these. So JIT dot noise one char three three. What does all that mean? Uh, well, JIT.noise just generates a random jitter matrix, um, and one means that there's only one um, there's only one plane. So matrices have uh, an X and a Y resolution, uh, and they have a number of layers or planes they call them. So your typical color video image is made up of three planes: red, green, and blue. And then there's always usually an alpha channel there to our transparency channel. So normally when we have a JIT matrix of a color with a color video, we're going to have a four channel matrix or a four plane matrix. And then the resolution is dependent on whatever your content is. But uh, in this case, we're going to make a JIT dot noise matrix that's only one channel. So it's, it, there, uh, it's only one plane. So it's not going to be color. It's going to be uh, grayscale. Um, charm is the data type. So what each cell in the matrix, uh, what kind of data is it? Char data is just 8-bit data that goes from 0 to 255, integers that go from 0 to 255. Um, so it's 8-bit, eight 8 bits per mm -hmm. cell. Um, you can, other, other data types are long, float32, and float64. Um, and they're useful for different reasons. But for the most part, we're going to be using char data pretty much all the time in, in Max uh, for, you know, for, for what we're doing. Um, so here you can set the plane count, you can set the type, and you can set the dimensions with the, the dim message. But the parameters that we already have in here are, are one, uh, one plane, a char data, and three by three resolution. So you can see here, uh, when I hit the button, it generates a three by three noise matrix, uh, um, just a random matrix. So uh, if we look at it with the jit.p window, it sends it out as an actual video signal, a very low resolution video signal, three by three pixels. So that's almost nothing. Right. Um, Whereas then, in comparison, a normal or con sure. standard right now is... HD is going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is, you know, a lot compared <laughs> to this. Yeah. Um, but, you know, here we just have three by three. And you can, if you use the jit.cell block, uh, this is an object that gives you sort of a spreadsheet display of what's going on in that matrix. So we're looking at the raw data here. So this gray pixel is actually the char data uh, 158. And the darker the pixel, so like down here on the bottom... Uh, there's a 20, but this, that pixel is represented by the number 21. And let's see if we can get a really bright one here. Let's see. Um, okay, down here we have 239. So the maximum would be 255. We could probably get like a really bright one. Um, well, 204. I don't know. So tell um, us how this connects to like a, an image. How? An image is so we could actually plug in, you know, like a, a picture here. Um, but I'm not going to do it now. Right. But. Uh, Jitter doesn't know. Max doesn't know what that this isn't an image. This is an image. This is just how the image is represented. So, mm -hmm. uh, if I plugged uh, live video in here, this would work exactly the same way, and we would see my image here from the video camera, and then we would see all the numbers representing the the data. Each in that pixel image. has its own number. Is really right. what I'm getting at. Any you know? image in, in mm -hmm. on the computer, for that matter, doesn't even matter if it's Max. But any image is comprised of a grid of pixels. And each pixel is represented by some number that represents its that that uh, that is a stand-in for its you know the brightness. The number tells the pixel how bright to be, and to have color, you just need red, green, and blue uh, channels to represent any color, which we'll show in a little bit. Yeah. All right. That's good for now, though. Let's see. 